Dean would throw them off this campus. What are they doing? They're messing up this whole block. They are degrading to women. Oh, they're... Oh, oh I, I, I can't even think of a word bad enough to call them. I think that's... Totally unclear. Hey, guys! Breakfast is almost ready! Oh, God! How can you talk of food? My mouth tastes like an ashtray! Morning, fellow poppers. Guess we didn't make too much money last night, huh? Are you kidding? After Benzotti took his cut, we made $166. That won't even pay our phone bill this month. Our major should be deficit finance. <laughs> Like they say, it's hard to mix pleasure in business. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Jackie, your daddy's rich. What's the chance of him loaning the house some money? But as much chance as we all have of graduating. Well, but it wouldn't be mad money. It's for our sorority survival. And what makes you think my father wants to see Delta Pi survive? I mean, staying here's the reason I'm cut off. Oh, hello, lover boy. Good morning. Oh. How are things in Never Never Land? Oh, incredible. There's a whole universe right inside our heads. That may be the only place we have left to live when Benzani doesn't get our check in the mail. Look it, we've got to make some money and real quick. Check this out. Mud wrestlers needed. Big bucks for pretty, sexy girls. Short hours, no experience necessary. International Classic Promotions, ask for Sean or Lane. What a great idea! 
A mud wrestler? <laughs> now, wouldn't that just blow my old daddy's status conscious mind? <laughs> That'll teach him to cut off his little girl. <laughs> Monica, I don't know how you talked me into joining this sorority. Some best friend. Oh, come on, Karen. Where's your old Delta Pi spirit? I just want to find a good man to marry. Why, this could be the beginning of the new Delta Pi. We'll put on our own show. And instead of using mud, we use whipped cream or something like that. <gasps> and we'll call it the Fantasy Wrestlers. <laughs> no, oh, no. Oh, God, the rats will love it. <laughs> oh, what about our house mother? You're right. Muggs has been getting crazy lately. We've got to find a way to get her out of the house. Fix her a couple martinis and I'll handle it. <laughs> yeah, she's still out cold somewhere from last night's soiree. <laughs> That's not nice. Well, let's take her to the movies. She likes the movies. Oh, uh, what's the difference? She never remembers anything she sees anyway. Monica, get serious. There's only six of us. How are we going to organize everything in time? Oh, come on, old pal. We are a bunch of resourceful girls. Desperate is more like it. I might have been a little bombed last night, but I, uh... Oh, yeah, I sure remember that one of you little ladies... Oh, yes, <laughs> some kind of wildcat. Oh, <laughs> 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 God. You sure you weren't smoking one of Magic's funny cigarettes? Mm. <laughs> Ooh, maybe he found one of my mousetraps. <laughs> what he found, little sisters, is a real woman. Hey, that's my new nightgown. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Looks like wine isn't the only thing that grows good with age, huh, Stan? If you guys say anything about this to anybody, I swear I'll kill you. Twenty bucks, a little volunteer work, and our lips are sealed. Get together again sometime. Screamer.
here today, and I want to thank you all for coming. Yeah! Well, maybe we haven't even seen the girls yet. Down, Fido! Dad, hey, Karen, you better not let Teacup see you in that outfit. He'll be in heat for a week. Leave me alone! Did you see all those people? Yeah, I know. Isn't it great? Just think of all the money we're going to make. Yeah. Hey, we might even be able to settle with Benzotti. I just hope my poor parents don't find out. Here we go. Now for our first competitors. And L.A.'s lovely man, Lori Swisher. We're all going to rise out of them. <laughs> Sharon Miller, Surges. Look out, Surges! Here comes the world! good-looking babes were willing to work on spats. From all your hokey ads, all we got are a bunch of dogs, burnout actresses, and transsexuals. Would you relax? We don't have to be in Vegas till tomorrow night. That's just what I mean. Look, we better deliver. Those Vegas promoters are going to be plenty pissed, and you know what that means. You and me sprouting tapas in the middle of the Mojave. Ease up. You creative types, you're all alike. Look at this. He's plastering every telephone pole in the area. Sorority house of female fantasy wrestlers. The promoters will love it. Yeah, but college girls may not drive such an easy bargain. Hey, you just get this bus ready on time. I can handle the women. <laughs> Just circling the city can't be all that much fun. Next time, uh, try to remember where we're supposed to be going. I had a grand time. It's not often I get to cruise. What's the tab? I already have $70 for this ripe young specimen of womanhood. Now, are you guys really going to let Gamma House steal this virgin from you for peanuts? No! All the guys from Gamma House have her peanuts. So what's your bit, Long John Silver? I'm so glad you're home. Mm. Hey, I didn't know you were studying medicine. Why didn't you tell me you girls were having the boys over again? Hey, like I said, I need thirteen ninety-five. Oh yeah. Well, we all got problems, but but asking for handouts isn't the answer. It takes hard work if you want to survive in this world. What's with the old lady? How dare you call me an old lady? Oh, that's the last time I'm ever going to let you girls date anybody from Gamma House. Let me what, did she escape from a mental hospital? Just her second childhood. Well, what about my money? Just put it on a tab. Mugs, why don't we go and I'll treat you to a martini? Oh, that idiot of yours. Oh, oh no, you can't oh. go Where are we? Get me in here. What? what is going on? What is going on? What is going on out in the backyard? I'm been eating! Oh, 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 the man! The man! He, he's getting in all that goo! Let you up? Mug, what do you take us for? Come on. This team is the second oldest sport in the world. Oh. Might 
this world is selling their bodies out on the street court. I never dreamed being a house mother was this tough. I should have never retired from the army. That's me. Come on, stop it. Stop that. You're going to get into it. Now, to get in. where would you ever find six crazies who love you as much as me? Yeah, well, six crazies loving me. One thing you don't want to go to the police station love me, do you? Oh, People are like, coming after you. Hey. Hey, you stupid thing. Stop it. Relax. Stop it. Why don't you relax? late on your lawn and i've just come to collect ladies you ought to be stuffed in a hefty bag and dropped in the la wash you know i'm against pollution monica maybe you forget you owe me over two thousand good us of a greenbacks i think that requires a little respect you only borrowed a thousand i was there when your landlord was evicting you now wasn't i eh. I'm sure that you and me could make some arrangement hey, just to help you girls pay off the interest charges. I mailed it a check this morning. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> what do you take me for, a dummy? <laughs> Seal off and attach bra. 
Now how am I supposed to seal it off when you mail order idiots only gave me one cork? Damn! What's happening? Uh, hey, come on, let me have an eyeful. Kind of a machine from the washer. Look out, boys. Here comes trouble. Hey, I'm losing my grip. I, I can't hold you. Poopy. Poopy. Oh, don't let go. Who's out there?
I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of mugs hitting on all the frats. Oh, what's wrong, Karen? You can't stand the competition? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, I raised five dollars. Come on. What good is money if you can't spend it? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> all right, ladies. Throws a little bit of pocket change. I'd like a free trip to Vegas and make some real cash. Vegas? Vegas? Yep. The only investment on your part is a little bit of time, talent, and beauty. Oh, now that's a heck of a lie. <laughs> and who exactly are you, man? I'm Sean. This is uh, my pal, Lane. Hey, you're the guys that had the ad in the newspaper. International Classic Promotions, right? Yeah, that's it. Now look, it's a promotional gimmick. And all you got to do is wrestle another six-girl team. Winner take all, hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand to wrestle? What is this insanity I'm hearing? Come on, we got the bus gassed up and we're ready to go. So what if we lose? Come on, we didn't come here to strike a deal with a bunch of losers. Oh, so what you're saying is that if we don't win, we don't get paid, right? Hey, if you don't win, you lose a little bit of time. We're the ones that are out the bucks. Yeah, the worst you guys can get is a free trip to Vegas. Hey, we can also get our heads pounded in, too. Okay, what's the split? 50-50. 90-10. You guys need a team a lot more than we need you. Hey, come on. The one thing Tinseltown is full of is pretty girls, honey. And hustlers. Like I said, what do we need you for? Because we're the ones that have the deal with the promoter. And there are a lot of hustlers that had deals with the boys in Vegas that are now just a part of the Nevada Highway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's it? Ooh. Okay, all right. 60-40. It's my final offer. <laughs> Okay, hot shot. Lame. Oh, I'm sorry. Slick machine, anyway. Yeah, but what you really need back here is one of those vibrating shower heads. What kind of a field trip are we going on? There's nothing out there but a lot of sand and cactus. And these blasted bugs are going to eat us a lot. Well, it's time to christen this voyage. <laughs> Uh, no, no, not for me. I quit. Smoking's been doing very strange things to me lately. Well, then, how about a brownie? I made it with my own secret recipe. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Oh, boy, I want a brownie.
places. Hey, come on, Lane, speed up, man. Don't let those guys pass us. I'm an inventor, not a miracle worker. What's going on? I thought you hustlers already had the deal. going on either. I got no reason to lie to you. There's no way we're gonna dig this out in time. Whoever that guy is, he's trying to move in on our deal. Aw, oh, Sean, we're always a day late and a dollar short. Hey. <laughs> hey, does that thing you built really fly? Well, according to my calculations, it might. <laughs> Are you crazy? That thing's nothing but a pile of scrap. Hey, partner, you sure you don't want me to go? If anything ever happened to you, I'd never forgive myself. Oh, what a buddy, but you can't fly either. Besides, if this doesn't work, those girls in that old broad will probably kill you.
Hey, kids, you do make a hell of an entrance. Sorry, uh, my fighters are stranded on the edge of town. I was just worried you guys would replace us. Hmm. Cupcake and I were just talking. Fast-talking kid like you could pick up a team anywhere. Hey, my word is good. You don't know how much this means to these girls. I mean, they've been training like crazy. They even fought a warm-up match at the university they attend. Hey, this ought to be a hell of a match, Cupcake. I see here where uh, your competition has just arrived. The Nevada Nasties. <laughs> Would you like to say hello to them? Nevada Nasties, huh? And they're real sore losers. <sighs> well, uh, I'm sure the girls will be just thrilled. Let's understand one thing, kid. This is my show. Don't get funny. You might just wind up at the bottom of Hoover Dam. Without any scuba gear. <laughs> Capiche? Don't worry about me, fellas. Smart kid. <laughs> Radioed back that they couldn't find you. And why? Because you guys are too damn busy partying. What are you talking about? The guy was good enough to pull us out and tow us all the way here. What's the matter with you? I think someone's jealous. Oh, bullshit. This is business, honey. Where's Lane? <laughs> He's in the bus, resting his eyes. Muggsy bro. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> For a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Magic was smoking a joint. Sharon can't keep her hands off the slots. Lori can't keep her hands to herself. And we have to carry mugs and lane to their rooms. So we celebrated a little bit too much. It's our first night in Vegas. Look, I know better than to ask you to start uh, getting the girls to start training. But how about you just keep them out of trouble for a while, huh? I mean, the promoters do not have a good sense of humor here. Hey, neither do I. We were told all the arrangements were made when we left L.A. Well, uh, they were. The team that sideswiped us today is the team we have to fight. You mean, I've got to fight those Queen Kongs? You guys are real gems. You didn't tell us we were going to be freak fighting. I saw the other team for the first time today, too, you know. I mean, quit treating me like I'm some mercenary or something, would you? Jeez. He's even more high strung than you can. 
Boy, I feel lucky tonight. Did you feel electricity in the casino? Yeah, and I saw some cute cowboys with some big wads. I'm doing an article on the fight, and I thought it would be very interesting if I featured the Delta Pi girls. Well, sure, you know, work on some dirty magazines or something. Oh, Muggs, come on, look at him, he's marvelous. Yeah, they're the ones you can't trust. <laughs> can I say? Uh, you know, they're a little excited. they never been in Las Vegas. Oh, why don't you tell the Maxim Hotel that? They're just about ready to cancel my whole event. You know, kids, you're lucky as hell with this sorority thing. It's got us a lot of press. You know, that's right. I heard the betters were picking us as the favorites. Oh, well, I did drop the word that you were ringers in L.A. <laughs> hey, kid, come on. You and I both know you ain't got a snowball's chance in the hell. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I've decided. I'm going to give you kids a $5,000 consolation prize. Now, you just have the girls put on a good show and then go happily home with a second place ribbon. You're asking me to throw the fight? I'm not asking. Look, kid, I'm betting your $5,000 on the Nevada Nasties at 3 to 1. That is 15 big ones. Think about it. That wasn't our deal. 
You don't understand. Those girls trusted me. I don't give a shit about all this competition angle. Hey, kid, take a look out there. That is Las Vegas, not Madison Square Garden. I'm a promoter. I'm a gambler. Everybody knows wrestling is fixed. <laughs> Think about it, kid. Look, you guys, 15,000 bucks for coasting your way through an all-expense paid trip to Las Vegas is not that bad. Yeah, our share would be... 9,000. We could square things off with Benzotti and prepay our rent for the next six months. What they're asking us to do is throw the fight. Yeah, to a bunch of real douchebags. Oh, sons of bitches. A swift kick in the ass is what they need. What yeah. fights? Are you all crazy? Those other girls are animals. I bet they feed them raw meat for breakfast. No. <laughs> We came here to win. If we lose the hotel, we'll never know the difference anyway. And we still collect the 15000 Yeah. If we win, they have to pay us. The hotel couldn't stand the bad press of welching on a bunch of sorority girls. Oh, my God. We're going to be sprouting cactus in the middle of the desert. Don't you see, with our cut of 100000 we can easily pay off Benzotti. And maybe even put a down payment on our house. All right, no more first of the month blues. Delta Pi owning its own house. <gasps> Let's go for it, whatever it is. Yeah. Move it, lift the leg. Hubba, hubba. Big game today. Never spring into your legs for those jump shots. Keep those passes. Move. Move. Come on now. Get out. Chicky, get those juices flowing again. Look, I can't. Besides, I should be taking pictures of it. Um, I jump. Jump up. Reach the sky. Get up. She flipped her switch. I think we've unleashed a monster. Oh, God. Come on, now, come on. Get this. Hey, Karen. Do you look swell? You get into Delta Pi. Nobody's higher than Delta Pi. Come on. Easy. Find my job. Oh, boy, I smell a double cross here. 
I call for the enforcer. We're gonna pull out all the stops. Them college kids ain't real smart. Cupcake, I want you to get put and make sure everything is going my way. Otherwise, the big boys back east are gonna have our asses. You got it, boss. And right after the fight, I don't care what you do to those two punks and their troop of little Murray men. <laughs> What the hell was that? Was that a jackrabbit? Why don't you shut up? Jesus Christ, all he did was piss all over my boat. Calm down, boss. Calm down. Oh, calm down. Okay, I'm calm down. I'm calm down. Relax, relax, relax. <sighs> what the hell? That's rabbit shit. I want that furry little bastard stuffed and put on my desk. And I'll be goddamned if Jackie North's gonna take shit from anyone. Dookie, our enforcer, better get here quick. Jack Rabbit. Oh, Dookie's here. Listen, baby, why don't you do me a favor? You park the car out front, and let the ladies to know the party's back in town. Yes. All right? And, uh, pal, be careful not to scratch the 16 code lacquer paint job, will you? And don't let any ladies sit on my horns this time. Hey, come on, it's not all that bad. If anything happens to Muggsy or the rest of the girls, I'll never forgive myself. I won't let anything happen, okay? You don't care what happens to us. All you guys care about is padding your own pockets. Look, I understand how you feel, but you're wrong. Lane and I have our last dime writing on this thing. Our landlord is preparing our eviction notice right now. And there's probably some Iranian loan shark putting out a reward on us all. What happened to all the money you girls made? We still came up a thousand short. So I thought I'd try my luck at the tables. Listen, there'll be plenty of time for that after the fight. Besides, even if we don't win, we still make a bundle. You really do care what happens to us, don't you? I do. Hey, we're partners now, right? Kisser, Karen. <laughs> and what do you expect when you just sweep me off my feet? Uh, I was nothing, Scarlet. A gentleman never lets a lady be depressed. Ah, <laughs> oh, that stupid electric toilet's overflowing again. <laughs> I got it from a mail order catalog. Karen, I didn't know you were in the model rocketry. Wow, I never seen a pink rocket ship before. <laughs> Duke the third, talent scout, and star maker. What do you girls say I get room service to rush a little of the bubbly up to my penthouse suite? We can have an intimate little card game, watch the sunrise, get a feel for each other's energies, and give you a chance to change your luck. Now, I gotta find my rabbit. I got some great grass, sexy. Oh, yeah? Uh, how about the bucks? Darling, I got anything you need. Mm. Huh. Right now, come back, Phil, right now. Roll the dice now. Eight to win you. Eight again. Here to come back, Phil, eight.
Lane, did you get some of the clothes out of the girls' suitcases? Yeah, and their luggage is already loaded on the bus. Great. Hey, look, make sure that thing's wired up in time. And uh, get the ultralight ready to fly, would you? Hey, Sean, do you really think we'll have to resort to this? <sighs> Listen, pal, this is one card game we can't bluff ourselves out of. I think you're bluffing. Here's your 20. And I'll up you 20. Can't get blood out of a turnip. I'm out. Uh, Magic Ray, are you in or not? Nah, these cards stink. I gotta go potty. <laughs> You know what they say about champagne, you never really own it, just rent it. <laughs> All right, I'll call four aces. I can't believe this. You're a pretty good poker player, Dr. Duke. Yeah, well, uh, wait till he gets those panties, and I bet he really starts playing poker. <laughs> is going to knock your socks off. They already are off, Dukers. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't be poor loser, baby. Mas, mas, come on. Oh, girls. I think there is something you should know. Dukers, you've been cheating. Girls, come on, let's talk this out. No, it's just a little harmless fun. No, <laughs>
still owe me 20 bucks, what? <laughs> you can't do this to me! I'm the enforcer! <laughs> The female mud wrestling, wrestling championship, championship of the world. Six hundred thousand big ones. No way we can lose. The Pepe. Hey, has anybody seen Karen? Oh, yeah, I saw her about a half an hour ago. She was sick to her stomach. Maybe she's in the ladies' room. Oh, I was showing sure get here. For your information, fans, today, I want you to be found dead like this. To make the wrestling conditions more difficult. Also, why do I let you talk me to these wild schemes? Will be in effect today regarding technical fouls. What he's trying to tell us is that dirty fighting's alive. And five points will be awarded for pinning both shoulders of an opponent to the mat for three seconds. Hello, Sean. What a nice dress. And now well, we need a disguise. His bone breaker is liable to hold us hostage till this thing's over. Out of the red I think you're kind of cute. From the Delta sorority, Miss Laurie Swisher. <laughs> and in the blue corner, we're about King, here's the mulling mama. decided to throw the fights after all, huh? Well, they look pretty damn convincing to me. We didn't need to take any precautions. <laughs> the afternoon... Magic, wait, no, that's The sophisticated Jacqueline Rothschild the third. Known as the Wrestling Cowgirl, Cactus Kelly. Where is this damn game? Where 
never watch. Hell, what I should have taught you girls was a hand to hand. Come. I can't find Karen anywhere. Oh, she's probably got wet feet gone. AWOL! Oh, not Karen. She wouldn't let us down. Did I know she's a chicken, but she'd never quit on us. You don't even have enough players to win the consolation prize now. And now, ladies, take your positions. And at the bell, come out wrestling. Give it up. 
been through a lot to lose. Damn it, by default to those bones. Now look at it this way. The tattooed lady would probably just destroy Karen anyway. Hey, why isn't Sean or Lane go in? I mean, nobody's seen Karen anyway. Give me a break. It has to be a member of our sorority anyway. And now, fighting out of the red corner... One of Muggsy's girls, Karen Deli. Oh, no. Position. 
games and come out fighting at the bell. What the hell is that? Please, Kip Squeak, I'm gonna break you in two. I'm gonna lift you up and crush you down. You're gonna be nothing but a pile of mud by the time I get done with you. You may be up there. I'm down here. I'll get you, I'll get you where it hurts. Get in here. Come on, I'm waiting for you. comes trouble. Everyone stay in the bus. Why, that little creep! I knew we should have hung old Ashley Duke the third by his neck. I know you wouldn't let us leave. Now without saying goodbye. The money, punk. I'm just about tired of playing with your group now. You should have played it smart, kid. Oh, I did. I did. One push of this little button here, pal. And that cute little sleek motor home of yours goes sky high. I guess you expect us to believe that shit, huh? I don't lie. <laughs> they got Karen. Kidnapping us a rarity, sister. <laughs> Hiya, kid. You're a smart boy. Uh, I'll give you the girl back if you uh, give me the money. Monica, bring out the money. Keep Muggsy in the bus. Come on, Magic, help him. Good boy. And have put her right over there side the road, huh? Now let go of the girl. Oh, no, no, no. That's why you got that gizmo in your hand. Now lay it down. Now! <laughs> now get back on the bus and turn it around and get out of here.
go! Jesus, the detonator! Forget the damn money, come on! Get down and play the Sons of bitches stole my money and then they blew up my goddamn motorhome! And force of my ass! Oh, thanks a lot. I will teach those boys in Gamma House to play with firecrackers. <laughs> Thank you.